if we go over charts, we are going to reiterate a couple of stuff we discussed last week, the week prior, the week prior that has been panning extremely well. Shoulder, head, shoulder, right? And I discussed that we might be in a range, guys, in the left, right shoulder with some symmetry, right? For the next four months. This took four months. And I expect this ping pong of up and down in that right shoulders to take four months. So what are the major support on those shoulders right now? If you go into the power indicator this morning, the probability power zones, the majors are around this 4430. 4430 is going to be your first stop. Then where are we going? So you are going towards here, the edge of the cloud. 4350, 4350 on the ESSMP, we crack, we crack here at 4285, 4285, we have the last stop here at 4250. This is pretty much the four months range, everybody, that I expect. You look here on the left side, that's what we add here, that's the box, right? So I'm gonna make it nicer for you and clean it up again from here to here to here to the major resistance institutional that have rejected already. Same here, see it rejected here, it rejected here with a double top. It is the same box that we are playing right there. And I expect this month, this box to be three, four months, three, four months in symmetry here with the head here, right? And that would project us four months. So you calculate April, May, June, July. End of July, end of the earning of July. Okay, that's where we are going to break one way or the other. Either we're breaking towards the 5K here plus, right? Or we are going to break here towards this 3750 that I was looking at earlier this year. Okay, and this is what's going to happen. Okay, you can see same logic here. Besides that, this is a huge double top here, huge double top on NASDAQ. This area right there, critical on NASDAQ. If we break, you know, this uh, 14,000, 14,005, uh, let's say 14,005, it's game over. Okay, so this is this is critical here 14,005 critical ding 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 you go like this if it cracks here boom you're looking for the 12.5 target on the Nasdaq <clears throat> so this is a critical area at the 14,000 sorry 500 now if you look at the ETF we are going to look at the financial XLF it's doing a little bit of a double top cross recross I talked about shift of momentum yesterday, how important it is. No matter what zones, no matter what support and resistance you guys use, support and resistance and shift of momentum and sharp formations with head and shoulders, double tops are critical in the market. Now you see there's a double top in the financial. There's a cross recross retest potentially for some type of a head and shoulder here. That 41, 40, into XLF is key for a target here of that 35. We break 35 on XLF, guess what? This game over. Then we go 32 and 25, 32, 25. So people are talking about rates going up, rates going up. How much of this has been already discounted in the entire financial sector? Don't forget that the financial sector had an incredible move in 2021, right? And the beginning of 2022, we are sideways here. So we are consolidating. Are we consolidating to break with a lot more of an interest rate? Or we are consolidating to break? This is why you are in a range of 35, 40 into the ETF XLF. The next one, hopefully this is helpful. Your likes, comments are appreciated. The next one is the SPY. You know, it has already started here, a nice double top on SPY, middle part has broken here, sorry, this is the uh, XRT, 
the retail, 88, 88 is a key resistance with 85 on the retail. So I suspect they are coming here, cross, recross, retest, lower high on the retail to go down here towards the 64, 65 on the retail. So again, we looked at the overall S&P, the NASDAQ, the XLF, and the retail. Remember, always keep an eye on your dolls, everybody. You know, the way I work is very simple. If you go here to the trading view app here, you would have seen what? People were buying the dolls, making new high on the DXY, going and overshooting over the institutional zones to the power target. It's like an elastic. We stretch, we stretch, we stretch towards the 105 and the 102.5, and then zoom, the dollar will go back down, right? And we stretch that. As the dollar goes down, it becomes defense. As it becomes defense, look what happened. Assets, risky assets are being sold. The SPY went down. The fear factor went up from the institutional zones here. You know, perfectly the VIX, the fear factor, held perfectly the support here. So what happened next? Well, same year, Bitcoin has gone down. See what I mean? So Bitcoin has gone down. If you look at Bitcoin, and I, I, I zoom here, you know, this is a five. It should be comparing apples with apples. You'll see that uh, the Bitcoin has rejected close to 49,000, right? 48,000, something that I've given everybody. So again, that's the, the strategy where, again, dollar up, risky asset down, volatility and fear factor up. And that's what's going on here. Okay?